All right, so I'm going to show you an article which is in Dutch, so I have to translate it for you as we go. But be prepared to see much more of this coming soon. And it's quite underwhelming, but it's being heralded as something super special. So it says hydrogen from the air, basically. And in Belgium, they have uh, presented a special solar panel that supposedly directly creates hydrogen from the air so the question is what what how does it work right is it electro is it photovoltaic um does it does it use some kind of a catalyst does it need some kind of membranes i don't know i mean it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't tell us but um it says here, it, uh, Belgian scientists uh, succeeded to create a solar panel that uh, produces hydrogen gas. And it's been worked on for about 10 years. It says, uh, it works like this. The panel, uh, the panel takes uh, moisture from the air together with the electricity from sunlight. It then transforms that into hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas can be used to uh, create electricity or heat, and that's how we in this, and that's how we can produce uh, how we can produce hydrogen in the summer, so that we can store that for the winter. So the funny thing is. Um, it says, if you have 20 of these panels, a family uh, can use, a, a family has electricity and heat for an entire year, and who drives a water, who drives a, a car with hydrogen uh, needs another 20 panels. So that's 40 panels. And here's the thing. So... Um, it's 15% efficient. That's what it says here. So, and it also says it's still much too expensive and not ready for the market. And then we go on and it says, let's see if I can see it here. Um, okay, this is 15% efficient. Does it say, because let's see, 250, oh yeah, uh, with one panel, 15% of the sunlight, it gets transformed into 250 liters of hydrogen a day. Now that sounds incredibly amazing, but let's consider these facts. First, I'm assuming that this is atmospheric. Uh, under atmospheric conditions. So you would basically fill a balloon, you know, with hydrogen gas, and that would be it. You won't be you won't be liquefying it or anything because that would that would lose you about ten percent of the total energy that you extract from the hydrogen. So when we look at the you know, just a simple Wikipedia page about hydrogen. These are just facts. There's nothing strange here. And it says that the density is 0 0.089 grams per liter, right? And if we look here, so I've got all these, these, uh, these uh, simple, simple pages. Uh, here we get to see that the energy density by weight is 33.3 kilowatt hours per kilogram um this is just another I, I was i was looking at how people would you know work with this stuff so this is the air liquide website which is basically one of the world leading experts in doing uh in doing hydrogen and oxygen and uh you know transporting that stuff so they basically say the same they say one liter of this gas weighs only 90 Microgram, uh, milligrams, milligrams. So, and if you know, renewable hydrogen is already cost is already cost competitive. Study claims the advent of cheap renewable hydrogen is nigh. I mean, we 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 will be getting smacked around with this stuff. And I'm not here to say that hydrogen is useless. I'm just saying that this type of hydrogen produced from these solar panels is pretty useless. Um, it's just a waste of materials in my mind. 
Um, I think it's much better to create hydrogen from uh, waste heat from nuclear reactors. Uh, that would make, make much more sense, although, you know, there might be some hazards involved. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I will let the technical people um, decide whether that's a good idea or not, but I do think it's possible. Fuel synthesis is possible with uh, molten salt reactors in any case. So what is exactly 250 liters of hydrogen gas? And... You know, I've created this 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 uh, quick sheet just to show you. I'm I'm normalizing everything. So uh, let's start. 250 liters at ap atmospheric pressure. That's what we begin with. That's what we get on average a day per panel. Now, one liter equals 90 milligrams, or 0 0.09 grams. 250 liters therefore equals 22.5 grams of hydrogen gas. Now we know that one kilogram of hydrogen gas contains 33.3 .3 kilowatt hours. So that's equal to 1000 grams of hydrogen containing 33.3 .3 kilowatt hours. Which means that if we want to get the figure that we get a day, we need to do 22.5 divided by 1,000 times 33.3. .3. You know, it's 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 in here. It's in it's in the uh, it's in the uh, the formula in here. So it takes 33.3. .3. This is also wait a second. Which one am I taking? H8. Oh, that's not the good one. Well, you know what? Here, here we put in another. There you go. It it cha it changes it by uh, you know, oh point oh one. <laughs> so in essence, one of these panels creates zero point seven five kilowatt hours a day worth of hydrogen. Now the funny thing is, I wanted to see. Uh, whether this claim was correct. So the funny thing is, they say in the article that the, the, the panel is 15% efficient. And I think that they mean 15% under, under uh, I think that they, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I from, from what I gather, this is not 15% efficient because we're getting 0 0.75 kilowatt hour a day. So one panel equals... 1.6 square meters and one panel is 15% efficient at converting sunlight into hydrogen gas atmospheric. So that means that we need to take 1.6, you know, the, we need to take the area and then we have to multiply that area by the amount of sunlight a square meter gets, then multiply that with the the efficiency factor in this case is 0 0.15 times 6 hours and 6 hours is about well if you if you look at, at the uh, this is basically taken from uh, capacity factor so 20% of a day is 6 hours it's that simple so if this panel would have a capacity factor of 20% it would generate 1,440 watt hours a day at 15% efficiency. So that would get us 1.44 kilowatt hours a day, which is almost double of what the 250 liters are supposed to be. Now, the funny thing is, electrolysis is only 50% efficient, depending on which uh, method you use. I mean, there's there's all sorts of different methods but obviously this is this is some some sort of you know electrolysis so if you look at the 0 0.75 kilowatt hours a day what we basically have is a 15 percent efficient solar panel with a 50 percent efficient electrolysis machine coupled to it which means that it's only actually 7.5% efficient. So the 15% efficiency is a lie. I think it's a 7.5% efficient panel. So just for, uh, you know, just to show you, a regular 20% efficient panel would produce 1920 watt hours a day or 1.92 kilowatt hours a day. And if you would electrolyze that, 
that would give you 0.96 kilowatt hours a day so you know i don't know what the hubbub is all about i mean this is national tv uh, this is probably you know getting featured on uh, on the six o'clock news um yeah it's <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not too, too stunned about this thing. Um, it's just one other solar contraption that's not really very effective. Uh, it's probably very expensive. At this moment, it is hard to make. And in all honesty, to me, it just looked like a regular old solar panel with an electrolyzer coupled to it. So it's nothing special, but be prepared to see this kind of crap turning on, you know, uh, lighting up your uh, your uh, your hydrogen uh, feed soon, because uh, this is being heralded as something big, which it isn't, to be honest. That's not to diss on hydrogen. I mean, hydrogen can be useful, and I do think that if we want to step off natural gas hydrogen might be one of the best alternatives but that is to say we have to take into consideration that creating hydrogen is an inherently inefficient process as you can see right here as you can see in the uh in in, in the calculations that i've shown you now it's pretty uh, it's pretty possible that i'm that i made a mistake here uh let me know in the comments below um, in any case, this is my take on the uh, the magical hydrogen producing solar panels. I'm sorry for the background noise. They're working outside of my uh, my house right now, so it might 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 be that you hear something. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and push a like button and visit visit my Patreon channel because it uh, really helps the channel out. Thank you. Bye bye.